hello hello everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Tamara today's video is going to be super relaxing in my opinion I personally love canning it's super soothing relaxing to me and it has become a really big part of my life since um, this past summer if you are new here I just started canning and home preserving foods and all the things this past summer and I just recently got a pressure canner a couple months ago and I have been loving it. I got a electric pressure canner and you can actually water bath can and pressure can so you'll be seeing me use it through the whole video. Um, I have shared it like kind of in more depth. I'll try to find that video and link it down below but if you are new here I don't do canning tutorials on my channel. Since I am new to canning it's still new to me and honestly it's just such a joy. I don't want it to become a teaching Thing in my opinion if that makes sense I will have a ton of canning channels um, from YouTube and TikTok. I'll have a few of them that I really like watching link down below but I really wanted today's video to just be enjoyable just put it to music and just enjoy watching me can like I said it has become a huge part of my life and I really really enjoy it so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video Please remember that everybody has a different opinion on what is right and wrong to canning. I'm doing what is best and what I feel is comfortable for my family. There is a couple rebel canning and Amish canning recipes in here. So just remember that if you aren't a fan, that's fine, but I'm doing what I feel is best for my family. So I did want to hop on here and kind of explain how I made my chicken broth because I've had a couple people ask and you guys this was the best chicken broth I swear that I have ever made. It was so good. <laughs> I didn't follow a recipe or anything. I just threw it in. I looked up what was the best veggie scraps to use for chicken broth because there is some that's not good because it will make your broth bitter. Um, and so I stuck with onion scraps, celery, and carrots and I had just been saving all my scraps and Ziploc baggies as I got it and then once I got two rotisserie chicken carcasses and um, about two to three bags of scraps I threw everything in a big stock pot covered it with water as you can see everything's still frozen um, I did add in a couple fresh carrots in there but um, I covered it with water I added in some bay leaves um, some um, oregano and 
that's all I started out with. And then closer to the end, after I let it sit and simmer for about 24 hours, I went in, I tasted it, added a little bit of salt just to taste for us. That's one of the joys about, you know, home canning is that you can adjust and, you know, customize the salt and, you know, seasoning to your liking um, and for your family's preferences. But this chicken broth, I swear, I'm so ready to make more. It was delicious.
Well, that was everything I was able to get put up for the month of January. For January, I honestly had a whole list of things that I wanted to get canned, but it just didn't happen. Life happened, but this was everything that I was able to get done and be able to grow my food security and do it myself. Canning is so much fun. Like I said, I love it. And now that I've got over the fear of the pressure canner by buying that electric canner, I will never stop canning, you guys. I love it. <laughs> Don't forget that I am an affiliate through four jars and as you've seen in today's video They are the only lids that I used. I have had a hundred percent seal rate and I absolutely love them And if you're interested in like canning supplies and the canner that I used in today's video I do have those linked on my Amazon storefront so y'all can find those there But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll 